Okay, what we're looking at here is my 2006 Yamaha FJR 1300AE. The A stands for ABS, which it is so equipped. E stands for an electronic clutch or electric uh, control clutch. Uh, it dispenses with the clutch lever, but it keeps the uh, foot lever and um, provides you with paddle shifters at uh, the right-hand handlebar. The bike is, uh, okay, it's, it has a cerulean uh, silver. Wheelbase is about 60, 61 inches. The seat height is 31 and a half inches. That seat height is adjustable, so it goes higher than that. And um, in this particular case, the bike has foot peg lowering um, inserts that permit you to a little more relaxed um, position like an inch inch and a half lower and uh, in my case I really like that um, the uh, windshield is electrically um, controllable it goes up and down about I would guess about three three and a half inches mm -hmm. the um, four-cylinder motor compression ratio is just uh, 10.8 to 1 um, Usually they report a uh, horsepower of uh, about 140 horsepower. Uh, this might be a little bit less because of the uh, electric clutch, but because I read a, a dyno report uh, that the back wheel uh, horsepower on this was about 120 or 121, and the um, regular equipped um, FJR 1300 had about 124 horsepower at the back wheel so maybe they gave up a little something with the electric clutch I don't know in any case this as I may have mentioned has 17,000 miles it's in really excellent condition um, does the standard uh, FJR things but it is a generation 2 so you get a lot of benefits that the gen 1 didn't have which includes a nifty uh, adjustable uh, fairing part where you can uh, open it up a little bit for the wintertime riding and uh, warm your legs and a little bit um, close it during the summer and it blows the uh, air away from you. Um, also it has a locking, we'll call it a glove box and a 12 volt receptacle inside that glove box for electrical components you might want to run. Um, it has, as you can see, double dual, <laughs> dual, dual disc front wheels and uh, the ABS. I think those are six piston front calipers. On the back it has uh, shaft drive and uh, a disc brake back there as well. Those are Nissan parts, which are pretty good, pretty good brakes. For um, non-standard equipment, oh wait a minute, going back, the um, the AE model, that is the electric clutch model, has standard heated grips on it, uh, which the uh, A model did not come with. Those were an uh, added option. I think the the electric clutch added about a thousand dollars to the base price of this bike. <coughs> um, okay, moving back to the added uh, additional features, I have a um, inline. Um, shelf uh, that goes above the we call it a dash shelf or accessory shelf fits between uh, above the instruments and kind of shades them and gives you a place to put um, I don't know I use a Sirius radio and a ra I, um, radar detector and I have a RAM mounted GPS uh, I'll do a walk around and show you those parts in a little bit other uh, extra features are the uh, Rear trunk. Where are you? There we go. Okay, that little trunk is a 40 liter trunk. It holds one full face helmet easily and a bunch of other stuff. Might hold two smaller helmets, I'm not sure. Just didn't bother to find out. But it's pretty capacious. Frankly, uh, I tend to ride around mostly with uh, just that trunk on the bike, leave the saddlebags off. Um, oh yeah, the saddlebags hold quite a bit too. So with the bags and the trunk, you've got plenty of room for two people. 
um, take a nice weekend ride with no trouble at all. Maybe a week long ride, I don't know. <clears throat> um, I have, uh, and I'll show you later this particular thing too. It does have a uh, quick connect for a battery charger uh, right off the battery. It can also be used for uh, heated uh, uh, garments, you know, vests and pants and gloves and things like that. So you, you're pulling it directly off the battery and you're not uh, going through the uh, fuses or anything like that. Um, trying to think of what else. Oh, it has throttle binder cruise control. Locks the throttle in an open position and it's extremely uh, easy to dislodge if you need to. But it makes your uh, a long rides on the you know, on the desert, a lot easier because you're not holding onto that throttle. You can just lay your hand on it. Uh, some other features that the Generation 2 had that I found particularly um, useful is that the uh, mirrors, side mirrors, um, fold inward so that when you're parking it or if you brush up against something, they'll fold in instead of break off. Nice, uh, nice aspect there. Okay.